South Korea and U.S. forces conducted a joint military exercise on Wednesday, amid escalating tensions with North Korea following reports that Pyongyang has sent troops to Russia. The drills took place at a live-fire training complex in Pochon, northeast of Seoul. AH-64E Apache helicopters of the U.S. Army participated in the exercise with the South Korean Army's 901 Aviation Battalion. The Allies have been stepping up their cooperation in security and defense as North Korea continues to ramp up hostilities by testing new weapons and dispatching troops to Russia to support its war with Ukraine. Officials from Seoul and Washington said last week that 3,000 North Korean troops have been deployed to Russia and are training at several locations. South Korean officials said North Korea eventually aims to send a total of 10,000 troops to Russia. The purpose of today's exercise is to test the combat readiness not only of U.S. aviation but also the ROC aviation and how we partner together. China's foreign ministry on Tuesday confirmed a South Korean citizen was arrested on an espionage charge in the country. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Lin Jian said a South Korean man was arrested on suspicion of espionage. The suspect, in his 50s, was detained in the eastern Chinese province of Anhui last December for alleged violation of China's anti-espionage law, according to the South Korean embassy in China. Lin confirmed the case and said authorities have provided the necessary convenience for the South Korean diplomats to perform duties. Lin did not disclose more details about the specific case. Chinese authorities believe the suspect, who had been working for several major Chinese semiconductor companies, leaked sensitive business information to South Korea, according to South Korean media reports. It was the first time that a South Korean national was arrested in China on suspicion of violating the anti-espionage law, South Korean media said. Foreign businesses and governments have been calling for greater clarity about what they were allowed to do under Beijing's sweeping anti-espionage law, which prohibited the transfer of information related to national security and interests. Gai russia and north korea's treaty on strategic partnership does not violate international law 
Russia's Sergei Lavrov stressed on Monday. The treaty is not secret, it is open. The entire text has been published. It does not in any way violate any provisions of international law, because it assumes, among other things, the provision of assistance to each other in case one of the countries participating in the treaty is attacked militarily, Lavrov said. Russia's position in terms of relations with North Korea is absolutely honest and open, Lavrov added during a news conference with his Kuwaiti counterpart Abdullah Ali al Yehya. North Korea said Tuesday its top diplomat is visiting Russia, in another sign of their deepening relations as rival South Korea and Western nations say the North has sent thousands of troops to support Russia's military operation in Ukraine. The US said North Korea has sent about 10,000 troops to Russia, who are expected to arrive in battlefields in Ukraine within the next several weeks. Что касается наших отношений с Корейской Народно-Демократической Республикой, то мы уже не раз говорили, что договор не является секретным, он является открытым, весь текст опубликован, и он ни в коей мере не нарушает никакие положения международного права, потому что предполагает, среди прочего, оказание содействия друг другу в случае, если на одну из стран Участниц договора будет совершено военное нападение. Так что здесь наша позиция абсолютно честна, открыта.